Welcome to France. With its stunning landscapes and varied climates, this country has something for everyone. Every year, people from all over the world eagerly arrive to follow their dreams of a better way of life. Full of architectural wonders, there is a dream property for everyone. And for many people, that dream is a fairy tale chateau. Thousands of chateaux across France lie empty and decaying. And sadly, not all can be saved. But for some lucky buildings, a new chapter is just beginning. And of course, this is new for us. <laughs> we have to do this because it's just, there's no way that we could live in the chateau right now. In this series, we follow the story of those people who dreamt big and the lucky buildings that get a new lease of life. We'll make new friends, uncover the past, and look forward to a better future. So with some imagination, hard work, determination, and attention to detail, dreams can come true. This is Chateau Rescue. In this Chateau Rescue preview, we'll be meeting some of the faces from the upcoming show and follow them as they discover their new chateau for the very first time. Today, we're in Normandy, visiting Terry, Ash and Tony, who have swapped their life in England for life in the northwest of France. They have just bought their dream chateau for £293,000. We join them right at the start of their new adventure, as they have picked up the keys today they're moving in. They have a huge task ahead of them as the building hasn't been lived in for over 20 years. Without all the things that we take for granted, like electricity, running water and warmth, make this chateau far from habitable. So for now, their dreams of chateau living will have to wait. In the UK, we, we could not have envisaged having anything near to this. This is the thing of dreams. It, it's just not, it, it's not manageable in the UK. It, you think a, a castle with the, the amount of land that's here, to do that, it, it's multi, multi millions in the UK. And to, to come here and to be able to do it and, and to be able to do it comfortably and live yeah. and be happy as a family, it, it's priceless. Got no power, gas or electric, but... <laughs> <laughs> you you know. have water, we've got a well, we've got some caravans. <laughs> and we've got plenty of fans. We're happy? Yeah. We're comfortable? We've got beer. <laughs> <laughs> With the chateau in its current condition, they're having to set up home somewhere a little more habitable. They plan to live on site while they make a start on the much needed renovations. But with winter fast approaching, they need to find creative ways to shelter their temporary home from the elements. There's no way that we could live in the chateau right now and if we want to be to be comfortable in winter we, we, we have to to, to do this and especially and with the wind us. especially with the wind we got last the last few nights yeah. when uh, when the storm came in blown up the we valley. just need to do something to keep keep it warm keep the drafts out and try and make it habitable for and it's, it's free it's in the barn yeah. so we just it was already took here. out of the barn and popped it around it's and good it around and yeah. after a couple of wines nobody cares no <laughs> <laughs> got so my wine good. so <laughs> only a few weeks later and that harsh winter has arrived with snow starting to fall 
and the nights drawing in, finding some home comforts like clean laundry and dry clothes are their main priority. So we're just in the middle of moving our washing machine and tumble dryer in. It's the uh, last piece of the jigsaw that we need to actually make sure that we can uh, live here comfortably now and not rely on friends to do our washing and drying and cleaning for us. So yeah, it'd be good to get this done and be able to be in clean clothes every day. So I bought a metal detector because we've been told that there's certain things on site, um, piping, whether it be the well that we're, we've been looking for for the last three months. I'm hoping that this will um, give us an indication as to where that could actually be. And, and just because it's, it's such an old site, there's going to be something on here that's hopefully just magical to find. With dreams of being self-sufficient, their future vegetable garden is going to need water. Tony and Ash have heard rumours of a long lost well on the property, so they are off to take a look, metal detector in hand, to see what they can unearth. We're up here looking for our um, well that we've heard so much about from the, the previous owners and the farmer next door. Our, our aim was to be self-sufficient out here to produce our own fruit, vegetables, um, have some livestock and, and this area of land because of where it is because of the sun it gets during uh, spring and summer absolutely ideal and, and we'll be able to more than provide for our family we've had a quick look and we've discovered what looks like the corner of a concrete block fingers crossed with the metal detector we'll find a cover for the well it'll be an absolute bonus for when we start growing vegetables in our plot which we're going to site up here because we know the well's there there we go we've got something here we think we've found something here, so we're just going to give it a dig and uh, see what turns up. The Normandy countryside is known for its harsh winters, but the summers can be very hot, and irrigating a large vegetable garden could be very expensive. So finding this well could save them a lot of money. There's something here. We have a hole and we have a well. Yep, water, and I can see water, I can hear water running into it. We have a well. And it's about happy 20, days. Twenty foot down, something like that. Yep. Super. Good news. That's a great find. We've been looking for this for three months now, so to actually have it is uh, superb. Yeah, brilliant. Big hole. Big hole. So there clearly has been a well set on top of it. There it is. And there's some studs that have been something mounted on top. Yeah, it's been removed. There's a wall. So they're the studs that we were looking for with the metal detector. And and there's, uh, a wall, there's a wall of it. Yeah, it's a brick a well. wall inside. It's around the well. They successfully located the well, which means that their vegetable garden is going to have endless fresh water on tap. And the money saved on water bills can be better put towards the chateau renovations. So we found our well, which is fantastic news. Uh, it's, it's, it's exactly as we were expecting. We know that there's been a, an old hand pump here. It's a previously round well. It's all bricked inside. Absolutely beautiful, to be honest with you, looking down. Um, it's been capped off uh, and hopefully we'll get it uh, running again very shortly. So for now, we say goodbye. But you can follow Terry, Ash and Tony as they bring their chateau back to life in the upcoming full-length episodes. Next time on Chateau Rescue, we're off to the vineyards of Bordeaux to meet Ed, Anna, their family, and the beautiful 15th century Chateau La Gorse. This is where I usually keep uh, all the wedding things. Because of COVID, everything has stopped. Hopefully people will like it. We've got two hectares of caves down here. It's all been man-made, fairly big old chunks of rock.
Tune in next time for another Chateau Rescue preview exclusively on YouTube.